The Speaker of the House, Justin Muturi, has recalled the House for a special sitting next week to deliberate on four bills, including one that may pave way for the formation of political coalitions ahead of next year's general election. In a notice, Muturi recalled the MPs from their Christmas recess in what could be a loaded diary as they raced to approve appointments of two to two commissions. Here's our Sam Gituku with that. After almost three weeks into the Christmas break, MPs will be required back in the House on Tuesday and Wednesday next week to consider priority business as had been requested by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Speaker Justin Muturi informing members that they will consider the political party's amendment bill in the second reading, which entails debate. Consideration of the Senate amendments to the NHIF amendments bill of 2021, after which the House should be ready to approve it. The members will also debate the proceeds of crime and anti-money laundering amendment bill of 2021 in the committee of the whole house and third reading. For the political parties amendment bill, it is also slated for a committee of the whole house and third reading. The MP is expected to propose amendments to be considered at the committee of the whole house. The political parties amendment bill proposes to, among other things, recognize coalitions as political formations with the ability to field candidates. The amendment seeks to provide that coalitions can be allocated money from the political parties fund that will be shared out to member parties by the registrar of political parties based on a coalition agreement. During the Azimio Laumoja convention, Raila Odinga hinted at the possibility of running for presidency on a coalition. It will be a coalition. Azimio Laumoja movement. Last week, National Assembly leader of majority Amos Kimunya hinted at the business of a special sitting. He was attending a luncheon hosted in honor of Odinga by Mount Kenya Foundation during which Odinga was endorsed for the presidential bid. I look forward to seeing you on the 21st and the 22nd so that we can pass some very critical bills that will be part of moving this forward. The amendments seek to change the political party's fund sharing formula to provide that 70% of the fund is allocated to parties based on the total votes attained per party. That 15% of the fund is allocated based on the number of elected candidates from special interests. Special interests are women, persons with disability, youth, ethnic minorities and marginalized communities. 10% of the fund will be allocated based on the number of elected representatives of a party. At the moment, 95% of the funds are allocated to parties based on the total votes per political party in the previous general election. A party with less than 5% of the total vote is currently disqualified from sharing in the kitty. Speaker Justin Moturi told MPs that, quote, if need arises, the House may hold evening sittings on the prescribed dates for purposes of concluding any business scheduled for consideration, end of quote. The intention being to process the said bills to conclusion. The political party's amendment bill may require transmission to the Senate for consideration as it touches on counties. This means that may have to await consideration and concurrence by the Senate before becoming law. The House will also consider approving Public Service Commission Chair nominee Ambassador Anthony Mushiri and members of the National Gender and Equality Commission. The House will also consider the Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute bill, which is at the third reading. The National Assembly requires a quorum of 50 MPs with decisions on the listed agenda requiring a simple majority, meaning 26 MPs will be enough to approve most of the decisions. Sam Gitukos Rezen TV, Nairobi.